Everybody, thanks for clicking the video. All right, let's zoom in on Williamsburg, Virginia. This is the back nine at Two Rivers Country Club. When we left off, I was uh, shot 38 on the front. You can see in part one, this is part two. And these are some uh, cool drone shots that I found of the club. All right, so going into the 10th hole, the back nine. So I'm two over par at the moment. And this is the 10th hole. You'll see the yardages here are a little messed up because we're playing the, the normal, the blue tees, where the, the men's tee, which was the, the furthest backed marked yardage they had for the day. And here is Jack. So, but still a very long hole. Here's Jack, my nephew. Hit a great drive right here. That was good. I like that. Yeah, well in balance. Recap by Dustin. Something that happened in the cart after the last hole, the ninth hole, something flew in my eye and my uh, my contact lens, my right contact lens got got knocked um, knocked out of location. It's basically like half in and half out of my eye at the moment right there. And I could not get it set back in. I, I got it set back in and it was all blurry and everything. <laughs> so you can see I'm contact got knocked. Really bothered by that right there. And, but I, I was actually in a pretty good position here. I had to hit it low under some tree limbs and hit it a very, really poor shot there. And uh, still, I did not get my eye situation messed up. So this is a double bogey, unfortunately on this hole so it's gonna move me I actually had to yeah I had to get that one up and down for double actually so moving on to the 11th hole the 11th hole is a par 4 it's way downhill it's really a cool hole because you hit your tee shot and then you're looking straight downhill and it really frames the second shot really nice for you uh, pretty generous though on the landing area for your tee shot and not a ton of trouble around the green. Yeah, the 11th hole, part four. So I hit my tee shot and I fixed my contact. I, I found, dug deep in my bag and I found some, some drops and stuff. Another reason that I would like to get LASIK. So I have about 110 yards here down the hill. That was fat. Jack said that was fat, but it well, it was. It was probably a group fat. It was just a little, a little steeper than I wanted. So, I will have about 30 feet, maybe 20, yeah, maybe 25 feet. Yeah, this is about 30 feet, maybe even 33 feet. For my birdie, though, back up to four over par now. But I'll get it back. This gets uh, pretty exciting later on in this back nine and as i said after the front nine uh i saw that dustin my brother and i were tied and i really wanted to buckle down and beat him so we kind of had this like secret match going on all right so this is the 12th hole now we're getting into the part of the course that i really love you have a uh, very very thick woods on the left hand side and you really feel pretty isolated back here it's really cool I would, one of the reasons I would love to play Pine Valley is for holes like this. Just imagine woods on, on both sides. And each hole is kind of like standing alone and you just feel like on an, a little like specially made part of the world for golf. So uh, I hit a good drive down the left-hand side, but I'll have kind of an awkward lie. Jack hit a poor drive and then hit a poor punch shot out and ended up behind two different trees, or next to one tree and behind a different tree. So this is my ball. This is 138 yards. I'm going to take an 8-iron, which is a bit big, which is a big club for this yardage, but I have to choke on it, choke up on it quite a bit because the ball's above my feet. 
and I'm using that ball above my feet situation to hit a nice Thanks. draw. That hit that good. solidly. I've which been is... hitting my short iron shots terrible today. As far as like when I try to hold back on an iron. That was a held, out, held back 8 iron. That hit really well. So. By short iron shots, I mean when I have an 8 iron that normally would go like 155 oh. and I'm trying to only hit it 138. That's what I, that's what I meant. You know, my throttled back iron shots were had been all offline, but this one was good. And this is a legitimate birdie chance, especially after two holes before, making that double bogey. Nice stroke there. Nice. That was motoring pretty good. Yeah, that was motoring pretty good on the way toward, towards and down into the hole. So, uh, thrilled to make that putt. Now, this is Dustin for his par, so this is a two-stroke swing for us. As Dustin bogeys this hole. Like I said, uh, Dustin's been struggling with his game, but usually at the beginning of a season he does. Cut. And then he gets Ooh, into baby. it and he gets very Go sharp in. by the end of the season. So uh, I know that he's looking at the comments, so if you have tips for my brother Dustin, I'm sure he'll listen. This is a long par three. This is like I don't know, 230 yards. And I hit it kind of fat and short. Jack also hit it, not really fat, he hit it pretty good, no. but it just didn't get there. So we're both going to be putting for par from a, a similar spot. Just a little overread there. So that's a bogey for me. That'll move me to four over par again. Great putt, Dustin. Dustin makes par. Great putt for Dustin. Dustin normally is a viciously good like 10 foot good in putt, putter. Jack. Come on. Good putt, guys. Good putt for nephew Jack. All right, this is a really cool hole. This is why I wanted to show the entire fly over here. Really cool par five hole. This is a sharp dog leg left, so let's have our uh, drone pilot take a sharp dog leg left. You can't, and really you have more in the second, more yardage in the second part of the dog leg than you do in the first part, which is uh, interesting. This is a Tom Fazio design. So this is Jack teeing off, and Jack hits a perfect drive Jack. here. Oh, Jack, good one. Today. Best shot of the day for Jack, or best uh, tee shot of the day for Jack. All right, so I got a little crossed up here, and I uh, hit that. I was trying to hit a draw. I ended up hitting a uh, off-the-toe oh, okay. weak fade. But luckily, it was weak because only uh, just a little to the right of the camera, which is on the other side of that car path, and another two yards is a out of bounds. Yeah, I didn't didn't. That was the monster hybrid three wood replacement. They're all generally straight, but they come out. So I went straight, but uh, the contact is not good. I have to all right, perfect practice with that a little bit. Jack hit a perfect layup starting to play a little bit better it's just about if jack needs to replace about three holes around he'll really just kind of lose focus and play really poorly but the rest of the round you know he's super steady so all right that's a good wedge shot that i landed right by the hole and it rolled out just a little bit dustin was in trouble chopped out hit a great recovery good shot, shot. Dustin. yeah really good recovery shot for dustin but that's a bogey Bogey for Dustin. This is me putting for par, and that's, I'm sorry, this is me putting for birdie. Top down. So watch this putting stroke and see if you, what you think about this putting stroke. And made it. Oh, birdie. You decelled on that. I always decel on downhill putts. Really? That's what I, yeah. That's really. That's how you drain them. You hit that little decel on the way in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good birdie. That gives me, that gives me a good advantage on the secret match I got going with somebody. It was a very fast putt. So yeah, I may be, I don't know if I deceled on it. I'm not really sure. Not really worried about it. It went in. So, uh, Par four. It's one of my least favorite holes on the course. Just is it's just kind of boring. But every other hole on the way in is fantastic. So gotta respect this hole though. 
just can't miss left at all. So I blocked it out to the right near the card path, which is really what you're supposed to do or what you should do. All right, so we're on 15 now. And uh, it's going pretty good. I love this course. It's always fun visiting out here because I get to play this course. You can drive, Jack. And uh, yeah, it was cool to make that birdie. Dustin said he's keeping the stats. I had 14 putts on the front and I've had a couple one putts on the back. So I'm putting well. But uh, he said, oh, it's obvious what you need to work on with your game. He's like, because I've birdied half the holes I've hit as far as green, when I hit a green in regulation so far. But uh, he's like, your iron shots are not, are not what they should be. Because my driving hasn't been very terrible. That, it hasn't been that bad today. So I just need to work on that. I was talking to Jack. Yeah. Jack, because there's a lot of kids, kids who watch my channel to play high school golf and stuff. So your what's your handicap now? About a uh, seven? And a nine. Nine? Yeah. So what do you think is going to be the difference that's going to get you closer to like a a two handicap? And you know, at your age, you should be like I'd like to see you get to under a five within yeah. a year or by the end of this golf season. Yeah. So what um, do you think the difference could be to short game to get you definitely lower? short game? Um, like putting, right? And chipping, yeah. yeah. And then you just feel like you need to get longer. Yeah. Definitely. Difference is just making those like like 12 to 20 footers a little more often. Yeah. Those birdie putts where that are not tap ins that yeah. you just kind of you don't want to make all of them, but you need to make some of them. Um, making some of those. Getting a little. I'm really good in the fairway bunkers. That's one of my strengths. Getting a little better out of some like uh, those like you know 20 20 yard. Uh, Greenside bunker shots. Yeah. Working on those a little bit, and then uh, just trying to get longer. I've been going to the gym now about like six days a week. Yeah. Just trying to get stronger. Yep. Um. So you know, just working on that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Jack wants to get longer, and some of the things that are going to make him more consistent in his golf game are also going to make him longer. Yeah. Who is that? that That's Jack then. Yeah. yeah. That must be me. Yeah. Okay. So, I told Jack I think he should take a, a a wooden dowel, or like a even like a broomstick with with no broom on it, and just swing it really hard, with just his right arm, a couple times a night every night, especially after his workouts because he's been working a lot, doing a workout a lot. I really like that pool noodle thing that I did like in 2015. But I screwed that thing up. If you guys saw that video from a while ago, where I'm using the the pool noodle on on the end, sorry. Anyway, so if you saw that, then I I hurt my shoulder doing that because I was swinging it. I was pulling it hard with the left. All right, nephew Jack. Smooth swing, Jack. Hit a great shot. It actually jumped out on him and uh, went all the way to the back of the green. So like I said, if you block it out over here to the right, you actually have like a perfect look at the green. It's actually better than the fairway because you're hitting a little bit downhill, your angle's very good, and you didn't mess with that garbage that's on the left. All right, so the camera battery was extremely low here when I set it, but I thought it would make it. So that was my lag putt, horrific. Just not nearly hard enough. So lag putting is something I have to work on for sure. But I did make that, uh, you can't really call it a comebacker, but I did make that second putt for par. So it keeps me a three over par going into the par five, uh, 16th hole. Awesome, 16, 17, 18, totally awesome here. There's the, uh, there's the river out there. Jack on this par five Four. is, this plays about 510 from the tees we are, we're on. So Jack hit a good drive down the middle. I hit a good drive. That was kind of a, a little out of sync, but the kind of like a Bubba Watson way, minus the distance. Good shot, Jack. I had good awareness of the face and impact. Jack hit a good shot. Runner that advanced. So this is pretty far away. This is my monster hybrid. Ideally, I'm thinking here of landing it short like 20 yards short and maybe getting it to trickle near that front pin. So, lie is perfect, but uh, 
I hit some of my worst shots off of driving range lies. Kind of gets me thinking too technically. I, I make that kind of swing a lot with this club. I need to actually practice with it. Yeah, that like was like a... Like, they all turn out fine. Like, it doesn't hurt me too bad, but... It scrambled down the middle. Now I have 61 yards. And this is the shot of the day for sure. I'll let you in, in on that. It's really probably the shot of the whole trip. Um, and um, there was another shot that was better, but this was awesome. Go in. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Come on! Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Okay, All right, went in the hole. No, it rolled like a putt. If you ever play golf with Brandon, all right, you sure always have 20 sand bottles. <laughs> right. Takes the size of Texas. Thank you. All right, Dustin pulled the ball out of the hole for me. Give it back. And here's Jack. Now I'm one over par. Here's Jack nice for Jack. his Good par. par. These. These final three holes are really cool because it's right here. This is the James River, and that there is the Chickahominy River. So that's why they call it two rivers. You can see this is the par five. It finishes with the par five, 16th, then a par three, 17th, and then a really cool par four, 18th coming out here. So this is a, a special place for sure. It's a great eagle on that hole. After hitting that horrible monster sh uh, monster hybrid shot, something I gotta get better at. All right, seventeenth hole. It's one eighty-five for us. Cool house to the right. Beautiful river view to the left. That's actually uh, our pin is just a little left of where that pin is. The wind is starting to pick up dramatically over the next two holes. It's hard to tell on the camera, but maybe if you look closer at the trees, it's really blowing hard from left to right. Wind. Blow it over wind. Oh, it is, it is. Blow it over. Jack hit an awesome shot here. Rolling, rolling, go in. Good shot, Jack. All right, so the wind's blowing hard from left to right, so I'm gonna try it. I'm aiming actually at the bunker and trying to fade it, but it, it just went dead straight. And course strategy-wise, it was just a horrible decision. So I was in the bunker, I hit out of a down slope on the bunker to this point. So this is for par. So I used to have the post birdie mess up, we'll call it, as a, a big problem. Now I don't do that too much. I, I back up my birdies pretty well usually, but I still get the post eagle mess up. That's a bogey. All right, so nasty bogey there to, uh, I, I hit it. You know, T shot was terrible. I hit it on the down slope. Whatever. But this is a really cool transition from 17 to 18 through this protected wetlands area. These really cool bridges here. What kind of animals are in here, Jack? Anything? Uh, all sorts of, probably a lot of snakes, water moccasins, all, all sorts of stuff. Steer? This is really cool. And then it brings you out to 18. There's the clubhouse there. We made it, the pool. That's a shame you bogeyed that hole, Brendan. Although that was a really good bogey, it could have been double easily. Stupid dick. I shouldn't have aimed where if it had gone straight, it would have been in trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. It's like golf. That's that's your 101. That's right. Yeah, you should have hit a draw into it, and if you ended up pushing it fine, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly. Easy up and down. Exactly. Huge thank you for to my brother Dustin for hosting me out here, and also for getting me involved in golf. Originally in the first place, he's a a wonderful guy. This is the final hole. This is a dog leg left that I thought I hit a snap hook into the water, but it actually uh, it straightened out quite a bit. One of the reasons is the wind now is is harshly blowing left to right. It's like hard to tell, but if you look at those trees behind the pin, it's almost a gale force wind. I don't know what a gale force wind would be. 
how many miles an hour that would be. But this is for birdie. But I just, I really didn't feel super confident in my chance to make this just because it was blowing so hard at it. All right, so, and then uh, I kind of quick hit this one. But this is for 74. Sneaks in. All right, 74. Happy with that. Thanks to Jerry, who played with us, a uh, great guy. And Nephew Jack, I'm trying to get him to start his own YouTube channel. <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. If it's very windy, I don't know if you guys can hear. Um, but thanks for watching, and there's Dustin. He wants to be by himself, I think. He's, he's marching off. He lost the secret match. He's very upset. Some alone time. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I don't know what I shot, but I'll I'll put it. I shot that was a par, so I think either one over, or two over, something like that. Yeah, so I think I shot 80, happy with that. What'd you shoot? 81, I think. 81. Ups and downs, Jack. Yeah, you just got to make less double bogeys. Yeah. And really, what's going to make you make less double bogeys is that when you're in trouble, you're able to chip up and down. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, just a little bit better chipping, a little longer off the tee. All right. Later, guys. Subscribe. Thanks for watching that guys. If you're interested, check out Building Your Reactionary Golf Swing, a video series that I made with Tony Lutzak, PGA, and Jeff Flagg, the 2014 World Long Drive Champion. It's uh, helped my golf game a lot just in making it, and I, I know that watching it will really set you on a good path for uh, being better right away this summer. So Building Your Reactionary Golf Swing, it's, there's a link for it in the description below. All right, so coming up on the channel is uh, stuff with Bobby Lopez that I filmed the day after this, a vlog with him and some instructional videos I did with him, and also another round with Nephew Jack at a place called Williamsburg National. Thanks again. See you later.